Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I started my week off with my second dose of the vaccine. I was a little scared, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Some learnings from others were to swing your arm around a lot, drink a lot of electrolytes or water, and just take the Tylenol because pushing through doesn't really do that much. It is apartment hunting season again, so I've been looking at some apartments. After reviewing, Eric and I stumbled upon a cute little store right by the subway station. So nice. Oh, really? This past week was a busy week for work. I had to go into the office on Monday for some meetings and we got a sneak peek of the construction on the top floor. Without even knowing we were becoming a gang. Okay. One of the pros of what I do is going to stores and just exploring different displays and experiences in retail. Here are some of the ones that I visited for this outing. After a lot of walking and a long day of work, Eric came and picked me up. Sometimes I like to be obnoxious and force him to play hide and go seek with me in the park. Can you see the fear of being found in my eyes? We eventually headed to our dinner which was a local spot called the Lowry. We got the pork bows, which were surprisingly a lot better than I thought they were going to be. I got the burger and Eric got the fish and chips. We also shared a panko mac and cheese. All of the food was pretty good and I'm curious to see what their brunch menu is like because they are always full during that time.
I decided to end my very long day with a nice bath bomb from Lush. This is the goddess one and it smelled so good. The bathroom actually soaked up the smell for a couple of days which was really nice. So darling, won't you fly with me? To the rainbow, to the stars and the Milky Way Won't let you get all the stars you say We can make it by the morning The next day, Eric and I had dinner plans and on the way, we saw a little stray cat I so badly wanted to take him home, but we were running late, so we had to go. If you only knew how much my head was filled with you. Only a couple hours after dinner ended, I was out again to catch a ridiculously early morning flight. It's been almost two years since I've gone on a plane, so it was definitely a bit nerve-wracking to see how things were going to be. I also only got two hours of sleep, so I was exhausted. On the plus side, I got to see the sunrise, which was very beautiful. I jumped down from the sky, but I don't think I want to die. I always get the window seat when I fly because I love looking outside and also it's way easier to sleep. I finally landed in Pittsburgh and headed straight to the office for a long day of presentations. Racing like a hot wheel in love with something that is not real I think I caught feels but I'm alone and around this track Before dinner, I got to stop by the hotel to settle down Thankfully, I wasn't sharing the hotel room with anyone so it was really nice to just finally relax Here's my little room tour. We have a little drink station on the left and also the bathroom on our right. And then in the main room, you have the TV on your left and the bed to your right with some seating by the window facing a beautiful blank white wall with some windows. It was nice to finally be away from work people and things. Although that was shortly lived, I got to enjoy a delicious dinner at a place called Spork. They gave like little finger food throughout the night and that wasn't even part of the menu which I thought was pretty cool. I got this drink that I have no idea what it's called or what is inside except for some rose syrup. For dinner, I got the pasta, super simple and always good. We ended the night at the hotel rooftop with some more drinks with coworkers and cross-functioning teams. I was up bright and early the next morning and I have to say getting ready in a hotel bathroom is just so nice. I just feel good and like way more motivated. I don't know if you guys have that same feeling. Because I have my mask on the whole time, I haven't been wearing that much makeup. It's been way more of a brow thing to make myself look a little bit more presentable. And every check I spend is one that's meant to last. It's funny how you own the car but rent the gas. It's sunny days ahead, yeah, I was meant for that. I got both feet in the door and I After the second day of work, I went straight to the airport to fly back to New York. 
Yeah, the fans, they spend the cash, but they like, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. And I don't really know who this was probably the busiest week I've had in a very long time, but it was super fun and I'm happy to be back home. I will see you guys next time. Bye!